Welcome to Flash CS6 Tutorial 25 Put Movie Clips on Stage Using Arrays I'm going to start by opening a new FLA Action Script 3 and click this right here and let's make the stage black click OK select this first frame I'm going to just drop this down a bit Go over here to the rectangle. You may see a rectangle or an oval here. Click the corner. I went poly star. Open the properties panel. Poly star tool. Options. I want it to be a star and put five arms on it. And 0 0.5 is my size. OK. And I want no stroke and I want white for my fill and make a little star right there there it is pick up your selection tool highlight it right click on it convert it to a symbol make sure movie clip is selected and call it S T A R capital S underscore M C and click here and when you do, you'll also get a check mark in here and some writing in here. Click the center here and OK. And click out this warning OK. Now we got this star. We can delete this star. We still have it. If I look at my library, it's still there and it has a linkage so we can write code for it. Call this layer Action Script AS and open the actions panel now this first part of this code is almost identical to what we did in a previous tutorial so type 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 and I don't want to see this yet so I'm just going to comment this out don't worry about this yet and let's look at what we have we have a variable VAR turns purple I colon number capital N U M B E R that turns blue equals zero semicolon then I have another variable V A R capital S T A R one this is like making a instance of that star movie clip so S T A R one colon capital A as in array A R R A Y that turns blue equals open square bracket close square bracket semicolon and we're going to do this little for loop. For, F-O-R, turns purple. Open bracket. I equals zero, semicolon. I less than 19, semicolon. I plus plus, close bracket. There's the open curly bracket for this for, for loop. And down here, when we're finished, we're going to have a closed curly bracket. This says I is going to start by equaling zero. We're going to go through this loop 19 times because we're going to keep checking as long as it's less than 19. And each time we go through the loop, we're going to I plus plus means add one to I. There's the open curly bracket. Star one. That's this array. Open square bracket I close square bracket. So I the first time I go through is going to be zero. The next time I go through is going to be one. Then it's going to be two, three, four, five till we get to a point where it's this is not true and we don't do it anymore so close square bracket equals new turns purple star underscore MC that's the movie clip we made and this is making the instances of it open close bracket open close bracket semicolon and star underscore MC is linked movie clip that allows us to use this add child eventually Okay, so this is making the new loop movie clip, and now we're going to tell this instance where to appear on the stage. So you can copy this star one here, paste it in here. Period X equals math random, capital M, period small r. That turns blue, open close bracket, and let's make this 500 so none of the stars actually go, out to, the, go to the edge of my stage. Semicolon. And there's an asterisk here 
between this closed bracket and this 500. The asterisk is the uppercase of number 8. It's the multipl multiplication sign. Copy that whole line here. Paste it in. Change the X to a Y and make this 500 375 semicolon. And this is the line that actually puts these stars on the stage. It's called add child, small a capital C, turns blue, open bracket, star one, square bracket, open square bracket, I close square bracket, close bracket semicolon, and as I said, a close curly bracket at the end. Let's test this, and we should have all them stars on the stage. There they are. That's very much the same as we did in the last, similar to what we did in the last video. But this is using arrays. Now, let's change a couple parameters. So, got these three lines of code I want to go through and have you type in. Star, you can copy this, star one, square I square. Star one, we'll call it I but it's got inside square brackets, period, with, small w, turns blue, equals, math random again, open, close bracket, asterisk, that's the multiplication sign, just as it was up here, asterisk, 500, asterisk, 350, I want it here, 350, uh, back down here, asterisk, 15, plus 15, semicolon, um, when you have two numbers like this after a random, this number is the smallest that the width will be, 15 pixels, and the sum of this number and this number is the biggest. So we're going to make stars that are from 15 to 30 pixels. Okay? And then we say star 1, open bracket, I, close, squ these are square brackets, period, height, H-E-I-G-H-T equals just copy this line paste it in so it's going to be the height it's going to be the same size as the width now it's the width semicolon and at the same time we're going to adjust the alpha star one square bracket open square bracket i close square back bracket period alpha a l p h a that's how um, the opacity of it whether you can see through it a whole lot or whether it's full and alpha works from zero where it's invisible to one where it's full full in view equals again math random open close bracket times one plus point six and some people like to say zero point six point six and a semicolon and this is again the line that puts it on and we already have that so now let's test that if there's no errors we'll see a whole bunch of stars there are different sizes. There's a small one. There's a big one. Have some bright ones and some dim ones. Now, instead of having the stars go on the stage using the for loop, because this for loop happens real fast. This all happens at once. I'm going to take that for loop line out. Actually, I'm just going to uh, put two forward slashes in the front of it. Click at the end here. Put a couple enters. And type in this code. Type, 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 type. VAR, V-A-R, I'm calling it Sky Timer, capital S, capital T. That's just the name we're giving to this variable. Colon, it's a timer, T-I-M-E-R, capital T, that should turn blue. Equals new timer, new is purple, timer is blue. Open bracket, 500, comma, 20, close bracket, semicolon, that's open bracket, 500, comma, 20, close bracket, semicolon. And what this does, it says you're going to have a timer. The timer works on milliseconds. So that's 500 milliseconds, which is a half of a second. And this is how many times it's going to go through the loop, just like the for loop, but this is based on time. Here we go. We're going to make a, a event listener for this. So sky timer, that's that variable. Copy it and paste it in, period. Add event listener, small a, capital E, capital L, turns blue. Open bracket, timer event, capital T, capital E, that turns blue, period. Timer is all capital letters, capital T-I-M-E-R, all capitals, comma, 
and I'm calling it time stars, capital T at capital S, close bracket semicolon, and here's the function line. F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N turns purple. Copy this name here, this time stars, paste it in, open bracket, event, small e-v-e-n-t turns blue, colon, timer event, right here, timer event, copy that, paste it in, timer event, close bracket, colon, void, v-o-i-d, turns the same color as function, there's the open bracket, and down here is the close bracket, and I'm just going to do a f auto format and check to see if I got any obvious errors there. And now when we test this, they should come on a half a second apart. And I have something wrong. And the problem is a simple one. I have a timer, but I'm not telling the timer to start. So at the very end, type this line of code, type, 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 sky timer. That's the name of this variable. So you can go up here and copy it if you want. Sky timer period start small s t a r t start turns blue open bracket close bracket semicolon and now my stars should appear one at a time and there they are some are bigger some are brighter and i think if you haven't done this before you may have a little smile or thinking that this is pretty good now if for some reason it still doesn't work there's one more thing that it could be so I'm going back to the actions panel and right here after I have these two variables I'm going to insert another line and type 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 this sometimes you need to import these um, classes I guess they're called so I M P O R T turns purple flash F L A S H small f turns blue period utils U T I L S small u period timer capital t-i-m-e-r semicolon and then try it and that may be why it's not working hope you learned something from this tutorial and i hope you use what you learn